The backup storage that sits behind your backup application has a major impact. It is not as simple as putting primary storage disk or a deduplication appliance behind your backup applications. Backup storage impacts, backup performance, restore performance, backup window, security, including ransomware recovery, disaster recovery times, cost up front, cost over time, and many other operational and cost implications. To illustrate this, let's take two different backup storage approaches and compare them in the following categories to show the impact. Backup performance. Product A, an appliance with inline deduplication that is processor bound and runs backups at about one third the speed of disk. As a result, backups are slow. Product B, an appliance with a front end disk cache where backups are written straight to disk with no inline deduplication. So there is no impact to backup performance, resulting in three times faster performance. As a result, backups are fast. Restore performance. Product A. Due to inline deduplication, all data is deduplicated and needs to be rehydrated, resulting in restores that are one-tenth to one-twentieth the speed of the disk. As a result, restores and VM boots are slow. Product B. Since backups land undeduplicated, the most recent backups are ready to restore without data rehydration and run at the speed of the disk. 10 times to 20 times faster. As a result, restores and VM boots are fast. Fixed length backup window. Product A. A front end controller with disk shelves is scale up architecture where the backup window grows as data grows because only disk capacity is added. As a result, the backup window expands. Product B. Each appliance has all resources and keeps a fixed length backup window as data grows because processor, memory, and networking are added with disk capacity for true scale-out architecture. As a result, the backup window does not expand. Security, including ransomware recovery. Product A. Network-facing storage is vulnerable to attacks as it is accessible on the network. As a result, your backup data is vulnerable to attacks. Product B, a non-network facing tier, tiered air gap, that is not on the network. This includes a delayed delete policy and immutable data objects. As a result, your data is not vulnerable to attacks. Strong RPO for disaster recovery. Product A, RPO is longer, as it takes longer to complete the backups and replication due to inline deduplication causing slow performance. As a result, DR data is out of date. Product B. Due to faster backups, the replicated copy is at the DR site in less time, producing a stronger RPO. As a result, DR data is more up to date. Scalability. Product A. Front end controller with disk shelves results in the backup window grows as data grows, the need to size the controller up front for future growth forces front-end forklift upgrades, forces silos of individual systems, and forces product obsolescence. As a result, this increases costs over time. Product B. Full appliances in a scale-out system enable the backup window to stay fixed length as data grows, pay as you grow scalability, no forklift upgrades, single scale-out system for future growth, and no planned product obsolescence. As a result, this lowers cost over time and lowers the cost of ownership. Cost Upfront Product A Expensive upfront costs due to the need for massive processor, memory, and other variables for inline deduplication. As a result, you are faced with high cost. Product B Deduplication is adaptively performed into offline repositories across many appliances, allowing for a lower cost system overall. As a result, you experience low cost. Price protection. Product A, no price protection, so prices can be increased at any time. A low price can be given to win the data center footprint with prices being raised moving forward. As a result, there is no price protection. Product B, Whatever the price you pay for the appliance upfront stays the same for five years and is in writing, which allows you to plan future budgets. As a result, you receive price protection. 
lower rack space, power, and cooling. Product A, rack space, power, and cooling are low. As a result, this is rack space efficient. Product B, rack space, power, and cooling are low. As a result, this is rack space efficient. Strong customer support. Product A, standard customer support pool, where you can get entry level techs or different techs each time. As a result, you receive frustrating support. Product B, assigned level two support engineers, where you work with the same level two support engineer every time for exceptional support. As a result, you receive great support. As you look at both columns, which solution provides the greatest value to your environment? It's time to let Exagrid fix your backups.